like using your prayer journal? Yeah. You do? That's fun. Okay, Bjorn, I am asking you and your brothers what your favorite Bible thing is that we do in our family. Prayer journal. That's your answer is your prayer journal, huh? Do you want to show us your prayer journal? Yeah, this is who God is, is our first page. And he drew pictures to help him remember things that God is. And what's this page? Wait, what's on this page when you look at it? This is... This is all the things I'm thankful for. All the things you're thankful for, yeah. And these are the people I pray for. Yeah, the people you pray for. And so we use our Christmas cards from friends and use them in our prayer journals. Yeah, and I, no, I was working on this. And what, what is this? You were working on this. That God can help you be like patient and humble. God help me to be those things. And we got those. Yeah, and there's a pocket there so you can put extra things in it. Like little flashcards or something. And there's one over here too. There is. That's a pretty cool prayer journal that you have. Can I show our friends? Okay, so I came up with this prayer journal idea for my oldest son, Eli, when he was little. And then I've added it for the rest of my kids as they've asked for it. They've all asked for it now, so we have four prayer journals going. Um, we have different sizes, too. Eli's is smaller. It's just like that. Um, we started with his and mine, but then I'll show you why I decided to go with the bigger ones for the boys. So when you open it up... Uh, we have these international worker pamphlets that have pictures of our international workers or missionaries around the world. So I have that in their books for them so that they can be praying for missionaries, which I love. And then on this first page, they have Dear God, You Are. And we are currently going through More Than Words with Rebecca Spooner. It's a big um, devotional for kids that I have really enjoyed. And on this one, they were supposed to take your favorite name for God and write it in the box below and do some art around it. So we talked about names for God and Bjorn picked King and Protector. Uh, God is love and then did some artwork on there. And I like that because he still can't read. So this is a visual aid to kind of help him. This is Jesus on the cross too. And then we have thank you for, and this is kind of the order I like my kids to be praying in, acknowledging who God is and then going into some of the other things. But being thankful even before we ask for things. So thank you for the sun. And I want them to be, I don't actually know what some of these things are that he drew, but I want them to be adding to this page too. So we need to keep doing that. And I'll be honest, we don't do these every day. Um, a lot of times I send the kids to go do them when they're having a hard day or when we just need some quiet time. Um, but they do really well with it when we do, and I wish that I did do them more often. My prayers for others. Now, there's a couple ways that we've done this one. Uh, here we have just pictures of family members, but another way that you can do it is to take Christmas cards, and I did this for Eli's. We just took Christmas cards that people had given us and then hole punched them and put them in um, so that he can have those visuals, and I have it in mind too. But be able to pray for people that we know through their Christmas cards. And I love that because um, it also is just like a way to keep these really nice pictures um, and have them to be able to look at. So I think that that was a really fun idea. So you can do that or just copy them off of somebody's Facebook and print the pictures off too so that they can have those visual aids. So here's his 
And I just don't want the names to be shown, so we'll skip those. Uh, please help me to be. And again, this section comes from More Than Words by Rebecca Spooner. And I'll probably cover that book in another video because I really think that she does a fantastic job with it. But they each week go through a different character trait um, or something that God wants me to be or I can be. Um, I am humble here. I am content. And so he knows these words. He colored them. We talk about them. Sometimes I have to remind him. But he can pray, God, help me to be dependable someone that others can rely on and trust in that I follow through with what I say I'm going to do and so he has some of those in here too uh yeah so that's it just keep it simple for them and it's just a really great way to get your kids involved in praying if you have older kids but really want to incorporate this prayer journal idea, maybe some things you could add for them would be like a map of the world and just three hole punch it. Uh, that would be really good for while they're praying for missionaries or just different countries and places around the world. Also printing off scripture verses. We have scripture A to Z that we're trying to memorize in our house and our church. But maybe even like the Lord's Prayer or something could be a really helpful thing for your children too. I'm going to be putting out a video of my mama basket and in my mama basket I keep my personal prayer journal and so I'll be going through what I have in my personal prayer journal too. If you're interested in that you can check out that video. The goal is to engage our kids in prayer, right? So as long as you are just showing them how important God is and how easy it is to talk to someone who loves them, then you really can't go wrong. But I hope that this helps with some ideas for kids of any age or yourself. Do you think it's a great idea to have a prayer journal? Yes or no? Yes. Do you like using your prayer journal? Yeah. You do?